Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today our topic is going to be about ecological relationships, so let's get right into it. There are a total of six ecological relationships, and in this video we're going to be going over a basic definition of each one while also listing some examples. Our first one that we have is competition. Competition is when two or more organisms rely on the same environmental resource. For example, we have a lion versus a hyena. Lions and hyenas compete over the same types of prey in the habitats that they each live in. So therefore they're competing over the same environmental resource. Next up, we have predation. Predation is the behavior of one animal feeding on another. One example is when grizzly bears hunt fish like salmon in rivers and in streams. In this scenario, the grizzly bear is the predator and the salmon or the fish is the prey, thus exhibiting the act of predation. The third relationship we have is symbiosis, and symbiosis is a close relationship of two dissimilar organisms. It's important to note that symbiosis is an overarching term for a relationship between two dissimilar organisms, and we're gonna go briefly into detail about a couple of examples of symbiosis. One example, very briefly, is between clownfish and sea anemone. Clownfish and sea anem anemone are two different organisms that have a close relationship, specifically dealing with the habitat of clownfish and the protection that the sea anemone provides. The fourth example of, a, of an ecological relationship is mutualism. Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship where both organisms benefit. Remember that a symbiotic relationship is any relationship or close relationship of two dissimilar organisms. So mutualism is therefore an example of symbiosis. For example, we have a honeybee and a flower. In this instance, both the honeybee and the flower are being benefited from the relationship that they have. The honeybee is getting pollen and it's um, getting resources from the flower, while the flower is being able to um, reproduce through the act of pollination through the honeybee. The fifth example is commensalism. Commensalism is another example of a symbiotic relationship, and in this one, one organism benefits and one does not benefit. However, the one that does not benefit is also, remain un is also remained unharmed. For example, we have cattle egrets resting on animals like buffaloes and cattle. In this instance, the cattle egrets pluck off um, the... the um, small insects that live in the habitat of the cattle and the um, and animals as such. And therefore the cattle egrets, they get um, nutrition and food from these insects. However, the cattle or the bison, they, do, they don't get affected by this, um, by this uh, commensalist relationship. Um, they're simply being unharmed. However, they're not benefiting from these insects being plucked off of them because these insects are not harming them. They're simply existing in the same environment. And the final example of an, ecolog an ecological relationship that we see is parasitism. This is another example of a symbiotic relationship. And in this one, one organism benefits while the other is harmed. So for example, we have insects like mosquitoes and fleas versus um, mammals like humans and dogs um, and such. In this sort of parasitic relationship, the mosquito or the flea is feeding on the resources of the mammals. For example, they are taking blood. And in this relationship, again, the mammal is being harmed because um, they're getting blood taken away and sometimes these insects carry harmful diseases like malaria or Lyme disease um, that do in fact harm the host body of the organism. Briefly going over how we represent ecological relationships, um, for example, with the lion and the hyena, we can say the lion and the hyena have an ecological relationship of competition versus this one with the predation, the grizzly bear and the salmon have an ecological relationship of predation. 
going on to symbiosis, the clownfish and the sea anemone have a symbiotic relationship. And then this continues on for the rest of the examples, continuing um, with four, five, and six examples of mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. It's important to remember that these are all examples of symbiotic relationships, which is number three here. Um, and that pretty much sums it up for today's video. I hope you learned something new throughout this video about ecological relationships and the different types of instances we can see in nature, especially, um, and even in application to our real lives, especially with this example of parasitism. Um, and that sums it up for today. Uh, be sure to comment down if you'd like to see any new video ideas or email us at xledlearning at gmail.com with um, suggestions for videos or anything that you need help with academically. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>